Hi YouTube, how are you doing and welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today I got for you a super difficult uh, high school ghost that was in the cafeteria. The cafeteria is one of the largest rooms in high school and also in the game of course. Uh, and I have actually never had a ghost there before, I am pretty sure. But uh, after this game I know that this is an absolute nightmare. The room is huge and there's a ton of items which is actually really interesting. Most large rooms have almost no items in it at all. So that made this run pretty interesting and unique. And I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Uh, William Garcia, ghost photo, EMF, and escape. All right. Um, looks like this is going to be a tough one. We have reports of violence. And it looks like they left in a hurry. William Garcia. Honestly, the paramic is actually really good on maps like these, where you can just, like, move it really quickly. Gonna check the board spot. Johan Coles, thank you for the sub. No, back there. Close the door, give me a four. That's, that rhymes. So you gotta kind of move quickly to... To use it. Oh, is that a board? No. Let's turn on the breaker. Paramount is pretty strong on the on the larger maps. Because how did it? Is it bathroom? It's. I think it's over here. It's nice on the larger maps because you can like. It's. It's probably like high school is. Probably the best map by far for the paramic because the the distances are not that long on asylum It's probably the worst. Yeah, it's actually here. This is why <sighs> This can be so extremely difficult and it's such an important thing to know that can happen I have had so many games where I heard doors I went and I would go around here. There's no door disrupted and I would leave this area. I would go upstairs. I would go around here and I'd be super confused. This is such an important thing to remember that the doors in the bathrooms can also be touched and they will sound identical to normal door touches. How you can figure out if it is a bathroom door touch that was uh, done by the ghost is if you can close the door further now this is not important like this door is not in its closed position um why is this important because not always will the doors look like this uh on on high school they do but on asylum it's actually randomly set like the the, the closed position is actually like a random not random but it's like it's like made by the developer it's just set up to be a certain like distance from the like you can't close the door fully basically that's what i'm saying so it will be like this but this is the closed position of that door you can't if you try to close it completely you can't that's how you can test if the door was supposed to be like this or if the ghost touched it which is actually really useful a really useful trick for a large map that um that i have had to struggle with to, to like learn it the hard way let's check for orbs also, this ghost gave me a very nice welcome to this session. Hey, you absolute asshole. Well, actually, it's... Wait, why did you just... Huh? Did it touch in here? No, it didn't. Are you just between these bathrooms? No. It's actually on the other side? Tea leaves, thank you for the two months. It's like over here. Wait. Okay, I'm I'm getting confused now. We have found the general location though. I think it touched that door, maybe. It's it's definitely around this location, right? So we're gonna go drop our stuff. It's very close to the Oh yeah, it touched this door back here. Okay, nice. Are there orbs? It's a pretty hard room to check for orbs. Cause you gotta check all these bathroom stalls so that would be a case where you can close the door further this is such an important tip for 
like asylum especially where the doors are so strange that's why i explained it it's hard to explain but if you try to close the door further on asylum you'll realize that you can't and that means it's in a normal position but if you can close it then you know that the ghost touched it which means that the ghost is around there um this can save you a lot of time I like to use the paramic on high school. I don't like. I don't think the paramic is that useful on asylum. It's pretty because the paramic actually the distance is fairly weak. It's not that far. You can't just point it across the hallway for asylum and like it reaches the entire the entire wing of that uh, floor. It won't. You have to go pretty deep into the floor or like into the wing to actually be able to. To detect like the end of the the hallway which kind of makes it pretty weak in my opinion you can use it to just go in the middle of a wing and then just spin around in circles and see if you get any readings around you but it's pretty hard to use um and not that great i'm gonna go get this in here i don't think i need this i'm gonna grab this and for prison, I don't think... Prison, I think, is the least useful because for prison, you very often hear noises. And there's so many, like, differing layers in prison where, like, the cell blocks will be... like it, The paramic is weak if you have different floors or, like, sounds coming from different floors because the paramic... Like, you have to point it up then, which will make it even, like, even less... Like, even harder to pinpoint sounds but yeah i i think the pin the paramic is absolutely useless in terms of pinpointing sounds but it's pretty strong or pretty good for just figuring out what area the ghost is in where are you how old are you hmm. where are you how old are you are you friendly where are you how old are you are you friendly where are you how old are you okay so now it's I'm not entirely sure. It didn't ring this phone whatsoever. Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Where are you? It's only really touched these doors. And maybe doors behind this? Like the cafeteria door? I'm gonna go grab a, um, a thermo now. Because we have the general area, but we need to distinguish where the ghost exactly is. Uh, which can be... If you turn the breaker on right, right away... You can use the thermo after a few minutes because the, the temperatures will slowly rise if you're playing on professional, which most people are. Um, the temperatures will start low and slowly rise as, uh, when you turn on the breaker. So turning on the breaker early means that you can use the thermo earlier. It's not upstairs because it, it just touched all those doors. It rarely roams between floors, like, a lot. That, that doesn't really happen because the ghost... Uh, confirmed by the developer of the game, the ghost actually walks around like a normal, um, like, like, it's just invisible walking around. So it has to use the stairs. It doesn't just roam between floors. Like, it, it, it can roam between, I think it can walk through walls, but it can't, it, I'm pretty sure it can walk through walls because that's just walking around for a ghost. It's a freaking ghost. It can go through walls. But, uh, yeah. I don't- I mean, unless it- unless it, like, floats up. I don't know how that would be. Maybe it can, but I've rarely seen it happen. Like, like, especially if you think all your high school matches, have you really seen, like, up and down roaming? I never see that. And I've played this game for, like, a thousand hours, so... It just doesn't really happen. I'm gonna put this book in here. And the dots as well. I heard that. Fuck, I wish I had a... An EMF now, because I think it just threw an item in here. It's definitely not in here. So... Hey! Why is it throwing? Is it like cafeteria for real? It is! Because did I didn't touch the store! It's a, ca a cafeteria ghost that went to the bathroom? I mean, I guess. Yeah! That is that explains why I heard so many items being thrown. There's no items in that. Uh, that is like once you start feeling. I really like the fact that the maps are set in Phasmo because it really rewards remembering what rooms have what. Like if I hear doors a lot, I know maybe it's actually in a bathroom. If I hear items being thrown, okay, this ghost is like roaming between these two rooms. That is super annoying. 
Ooh, but it's here now. Where are you? How old are you? Are you French? Where are you? How old are you? Are you French? Where are you? How old are you? I'm gonna go check for orbs there, because if I see orbs in a room, then I know that that's the official ghost room. Which is always nice. That's why I like orbs so much. Because they give you a lot of information. But let's see. I... It's throwing... Oh, there are orbs! Let's go! Nice. Okay, so this is the definitive ghost room, which is great. The board can actually be on, I think, this one or that table. It's also throwing stuff from the tables. So it's a cafeteria ghost, which actually bamboozled me quite a bit because the first signs it gave, obviously, were from the bathrooms. Uh, but as soon as I started, as, as soon as I heard items being thrown, I knew that that can't be that bathroom because there's no items there. So uh, first I checked the room next door because it's the closest to me. But you got to think outside of the box. That's always a problem that's especially on small maps, something like the foyer and the garage in Tanglewood. The ghost can actually roam between that really easily. Like the ghost can definitely go through walls from my experience that happens all the time where a foyer ghost will go to the garage and then go back and then go back to the foyer. It's super annoying because it's really far, but not for the ghost because the ghost can just walk through walls. Where are you? Oh! Oh! Jesus. <sighs> okay, this took us so long, we were so, like, tutorial mode, that I forgot that I can actually die in this game. <laughs> it's a Mario Yokai. Kayin. Thank you for the six months in advance. Thank you so much. Okay, let's leave. It was very aggressive. As soon as I stepped into that bathroom, remember when I did a ghost event right there? Didn't it do like two ghost events? I should leave this here. Uh, let's first check our sanity though. It's fine. I'm just gonna go. It's a very interesting... Uh interesting session on on how to deal with large maps it can be very rough okay so that was an early hunt probably around 55 so we're potentially we're probably dealing with a mare here uh what kind of objectives do i need to do i need an emf reader so i'm gonna take that in um i should take a pill to not get like perma hunted here but maybe we can get some ghost events and Get a little bit of an idea what ghosts we're dealing with here. Yeah, I really think that the main issue with large maps is that the incentive is too low. I would love for there to be more stuff to find, more stuff to do. Did it just throw this right now? Something around here was thrown. I heard it. Where's this? Where is it? There's so much stuff here. I think I'm gonna do the pal strap, maybe. Is it this? Give me the EMF reading. I need it for my objective. There we are. All right. Good stuff. Now we'll leave it here. It can't actually be that. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Yep, definitely here. I'm gonna go grab the uh, the writing book and the dots now, because we have those left. You can turn on the. You can only turn the light on from the other side of this cafeteria. It's a really large room. Like this is an underratedly large room. This is pretty much like a hallway ghost, kind of. But the nice part about this hallway, like in in the terms of size, is that it does have um, a ton of items in there, so you get. You can kind of follow it better. Like, the main issue with hallways is, one, them being really big. And then the other one is that there's just nothing to do in a hallway. Like, the ghost doesn't hasn't doesn't have anything to interact with. So you have very, a very hard time tracking the ghost from, like, where it's going. Let's leave this here because it seems to be around this. Put the book next to it. Grab the photo cam in case we get a ghost event. 
Mike Cersei's, thank you for the seven months. Um, I could do all the items on one pile now, but that is gonna make it harder for the ghost to actually do something, but it's gonna make it easier for me to get a photo of it. Hmm. Let's see. Let's grab the paramic. Yeah, there should be a bigger reward, but they're working on that, right? I haven't had a ghost during a long time. Is there a board in the gym? Let me quickly check. I haven't seen a board here in a long time either. Where's the equipment? This is a paramic. This is a paramic. It gives me para sounds. Give me a sign. Blessed cow, thank you for the two months prime. That rhymes with sign. Well, kind of. Give us a show yourself. Do something. William Garcia, show yourself. Do something. Give us a sign. William Garcia. I could, I could pile up stuff here. Let's see. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, so you're here. This is so convenient. Having a spear box ghost in a large room like this. Where are you? Where are you? Fuck you. Where are you? Now you're here again? Gosh damn. Do something. Give us a sign. Show yourself. Hey. Give me a sign. Do something. Throw something. Run, scared, hide. Run, scared, hide. Run, run, scared, hide. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Hmm. Where are you? Where are you? It's a weight on all sides of this. Where are you? Are you here? Okay, so you're back here now. This is getting super annoying. Can you give me a sign? Can you show yourself? Can you do something? Can you give us a sign? Is it gonna give me a reading on this? This is a really, really rough room. This is like, I mean, it's not as, as dire as like a, a gym or anything, or like a hallway necessarily, but it's a pretty underratedly hard room to have a ghost in. Where are you? How old are you? Okay, I really gotta bring in more, even though I, I mean, you can get lucky, obviously, but I need more. I need another book and dots. Probably turn on the light too. Oh, I am almost entirely sure, Blarian, that it is based on distance to the ghost, ghost because you've never heard, you don't hear the ghost say away and far when you're like in a small room in a, in a street house. Like if you're in the small room in a street house and the ghost is there, it will always say like, next to you behind you. It will never go like away, away, far. Like that's, no. There's just gotta be something with distance. Um, uh, bing, bing. Hey Lucy, what's up? We don't know the radius though, at all. But there's definitely, there's definitely, it's definitely distance based. Like that's 100% sure because of just a thousand hours of experience and ha using it to track the ghost. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's like, uh, if it says far, it could be in a large range around you. Like, you know, it's not next to you, but that's about as much as information as you have. But it's definitely distance based. All right, we have one on in the middle and one over there. Now, how are we going to see all of this? 
I turn on that light. I'm gonna turn on the light in here too. Maybe, I mean, if it's a mirror, it's gonna be very annoying. Lucy, you the six months. It's gonna be very annoyed. Can you give me a sign? Can you show yourself? Can you do something? Come on now. Where are- oh, it doesn't work with the light on. That's actually annoying. I could set up a an item pile here, but I don't think that really forces the activity to be centered. That only really works in a small room. Can you give us a sign? Come on, ghost. You're being very annoying. Lings, thank you for the two months. Can you show yourself? Can you do something? Can you give us a sign? It legitimately ignores me. Is it even here still? This room is kind of super shitty because the, its proximity, I mean, I guess the same counts for hallways, but like the proximity to all these other rooms, because I think it's not been here for a little bit now because it's actually warmer here now. It should be around three degrees, which it's not. So it's probably somewhere else. Maybe because I turn on the lights, it's like, fuck you, I'm out of here. Let's turn off the light again. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you here? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? It's blinking lights outside now. Where are you? Are you here? Eh, how did she leave so quickly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? You absolute shitter. Okay, am I just gonna take the ghost photo? I tried, did I get it? I'm running. Oh god. Uh oh. Run! Oh boy, it's gonna speed up. My goodness. What hunt would that be? What Around what sanity would this be? Did I get the ghost photo? That would be lucky. Nah, not quite. Let's uh, check our sanity. Do, 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 do. So that is a... It hunted in a light area, right? I think this is probably... A yokai? I don't know, man. It hunted early, though, which is pretty suspicious. Hmm. It's a yokai room here. No, but that was, I mean, it did hunt from the other room, but you never know with that. Like, the ghost can start its hunt. It can, st it can, like, trigger its hunt. Like, it, it can go, like, I want to do a hunt. And then it can still walk before the hunt actually starts. Which is very, makes... Oh. Give us a sign. Show yourself. Do something. Show yourself. Show us. Show yourself. Do something. Give us a sign. Show yourself, do something, give us a sign. Show yourself, do something, give us a sign. Show yourself, do something. Show yourself, do something. 
Run. Scared. Hide. Run. Bloody Mary. William. 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 Show yourself. Do something. William, please. Give me a sign. Show yourself. You piece of garbage. Oh, okay. Where's the photo cam? I left one around here somewhere. Please don't do a ghost event right now. Oh, here it is. Kepler, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Wait, that didn't count? What the fuck? Alright. Where are you? Are you here? Alright. Okay, show yourself. Do something. Is it... I don't know. Here we go. Show yourself. Give us a sign. Show yourself. Do something. Give us a sign. Show yourself. Please. For the love of God, write in the book. Do it. Give me a sign, William. Show yourself. William? William, William, William. Hello? William. Remember that it, it kind of helps. If you have a writing ghost, it kind of helps that you have an empty room because then the only thing that is like remains for the ghost to interact with is your your writing book. Whereas now there's so much in this room that it just doesn't want to touch my one thing. Also, there's orbs right there. Can you give us a sign? I've not seen dots, which seems unlikely. Oh, through that, I saw that. Maybe we should make. Maybe we. Sh oh, it turned on off the break. Hmm. Maybe I should just put them both on this pile. Give us a. Su oh boy. Ah! Uh, Jeebus. Come here, bitch. Come on, then, huh? Come here. Jeebus. This is a really tough go. I'm just gonna do the thing. Kawaii Nishate, thank you for the three months. Hmm. That sounds, that seemed like an early hunt. Oh, hello there. Catch this. Did I get the photo? Are you fucking joking? See what my sanity was. They did hunt on top of me. It kind of hunted close to me. But yeah, that was a... Ooh. Is that an above 60 hunt? That seems like it should be above 60, right? Because I'm like 60 now. That's gotta be yokai then. I am so curious now if that could be... Where's the other photo cam? Then I have it around. Oh, there it is. Such a yokai thing. That would mean or or dots. Maybe we should just look through this. Can we see the dots? Kind of. We should be able to see them. We have vision on both, even though the one is behind the chair. Off road the top. Thank you for the four months. I was in there and no one saw dots whatsoever, though. Oh, Kepler. Yeah, we know about the orbs, guys. The orbs have been found long ago. It is now either dots or writing. Uh, it's, yeah, like a large room with a ton of items is so hard. <sighs> Hmm. It's not doing any dots. 
Sandals, thank you for the eight months. I guess you should probably remove all the items from this room. To fix, like, to make it easier to get the evidence. Because that is confirmed. That removing items from the room makes it easier for the ghost to write or do... I don't know, actually, do dots. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like that should also apply. But definitely write is easier. Fuck you. Hi, Bolivian. Thank you for the prime. This is such an underrated room. I never really have a ghost here, but this is hard. Like, if you have one of these location-based or, like, interaction-based evidences in a big room like this with a ton of items, there's not much you can do. Do dots, do dots, do dots. Especially since it also seems to be like a roaming ghost. Give me a sign. Oh yeah, you turn off the breaker. It doesn't turn on a light though. Show yourself, do something, give us a sign. Show yourself. Give me dots. I I could start with the removal of all the items, but I don't know if that's just like such an infeasible project, given the amount of items in this room. I wish you could. We could influence the behavior of the roaming by moving items around or something. That'd be so cool. Uh, where did I leave the photo cam? There it is. Hello? It may as well, it may just roam to a different room, right? And then we're fucked. It did roam like- it did start its hunt like right on top of me again. Right? I think this is such a yokai. It's super aggressive yokai. Although we did have- I didn't take pills. Are you here? I got the ghost! Bye! Just making distance in those, like, in that brief grace period is really important. That's why it sucks so much if you just use your sprint when the hunt starts. That's real fear right there. And make sure to cr cut your corners pretty tightly. And in some situations, you can open doors like this. Doors will break line of sight so you can actually run away while hugging the walls and then open doors behind you, and the ghost will not speed up. Even though it is chasing you, it won't speed up as it is chasing you before it before it gets to you. I think we're gonna have to go with Yokai without dots here. It did turn off the breaker once. It never turned on the light, but that's not much to go off of. It was very active and it did all the hunts that, it seemed to hunt like right on top of us. I, this is such a good angle, bro. Just give me fucking dots, mate. Look at that. We can see both of these dots perfectly. No, but I almost... Like, that hunt... That's where you hope you... That's where it would be so nice to have a candle so you can lock your sanity in place. Because we probably were above 60 when the hunt starts, but I started, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, orbs are... that We know that, guys. It's orb, spirit box, and then question mark.
that is almost entirely impossible to do for sure, old bean. You can't... Like, the, the yokai distance hearing thing might as well not exist. It is completely useless. Especially on a big map like this. You can never be in a situation where you're not just gonna die. Like, I could, I could make the ghost run down a hallway and then go into a room and then go yell at the ghost, Hey, I'm in this room, and then, oh, it hurt me! Die. I guess I could use a smudge stick, but even then. I mean, I guess, I guess what I could do is stand, like, in a bathroom. Wait, you guys just saw dots? I looked away for, like, a moment! No! Meh. Fuck. No, I missed the dots. But hey, we got it, though. I, tr I trust. In chat, we trust. I can't believe that took that long. We were in that room for so long. That's where truck watching really comes in handy. Because they're so much easier to see. Fuck, I missed them. If you have, like, a small ghost, a crawly ghost as well, it becomes even harder to see the dots. Especially in a room like this, it could go under the tables and be kind of invisible. But yeah, this was a very hard and educational... Um, high school game. Man, if you, like... I was playing with a few people uh, recently that were like... We were on a large map and they kept opening doors. And it can, like, feel legitimately impossible to do large maps sometimes. If you don't have everything under control. Like, if you're playing with... People that don't know what they're doing or they're, like, opening every door and you can't... Like, locating the ghost can be so difficult on these maps. Like, unreasonably ridiculous. In this map, in this match already, we had, like... We thought it was in the bathroom. Then it touched stuff there and it actually ended up being somewhere else because we heard it throw things. It's so difficult. But yeah, we did it. We did all objectives. Not the cleanest game. Uh... I also took like 30 minutes at least. It took a long, long, long time because this room is actually super difficult and I rarely get a ghost there. Um, yeah, that was only Welcome 15 back. from photos There's because I focus mostly on getting that objective. That was really difficult. That was 190 experience, four ghost defense, four hunts, 56 interactions. But yeah, how do you deal with a room like that? There's no, there's no like. There's no, like, one simple trick that your ghost does not want you to use. It is just determination. It is getting the items in, getting the, uh, getting, like, both of the books, both of the dots in there. And that you will eventually see the evidence. And if you, while you are waiting for the evidence, make sure to rule out... Uh, like, use behavior cues to, to hone in on whatever ghost you think it might be. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that video. That is one of the hardest rooms in the game. Uh, not, not like, on the top, but definitely underrated. You don't often get it here. Um, and yeah, it, it's one of those rooms that sneaks up on you, and it becomes extremely difficult, especially because there's so many... It's a very unique room. It's a very large room with a ton of items. Most rooms that are very large have, like, no items, which actually makes getting writing pretty easy if you're if you want to see how writing can be very easy in a large room look no further than the gym video in high school that i just made where the ghost wrote in the book immediately because it was the only thing in that room so it just touches it right away uh, in this room there were like 100 things and it could touch any of them but yeah i uh, think because we did get 56 interactions yeah i hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like this like it and if you want to join the love the game share and chat you can join us over twitch.tv slash instant every single day at 7 p.m central european time thank you very much for watching i love you very much and i'll see you in the next one bye bye guys Whew.